Got it. Hello, everyone. Hello, viewers. Thanks for watching this program. And uh, thanks for subscribing to listen to the success stories. It gives a good uh, thrill to see somebody winning in front of us, right? And we also try to see, is there any tips I can get from this person which can help me? I know we do this recording for 30 minutes and it's a lengthy, but in lengthy, sometimes we get some detail elaborated. We don't want to cut short. Also, I expect you all to leave some comments if you want to ask more questions in this area. So whom we have here? We have Vijay. So Vijay cleared PMP on 3rd of April, very recently, right? 3rd of April should be a day before, one day before. Yeah, very recently. So he remembers all the questions, but he can't tell the question as for the PMA ethics. But at the same time, he knows the thrill, the roller coaster, what happened there. <laughs> Okay, so he's going to give some idea what will happen here. Before that, I want to congratulate him for this great success and bring up his certificate. Okay, that's where it comes, right? The orange one. I remember the day when we used to get it, it'll be blue color. So I thought blue is great. Now, after some year, months, I feel now orange looks great, All right? So there it goes, Vijay, who cleared PMP recently. That's really good news. So first of all, congratulations, Vijay. And uh, good wishes for a great achievement because getting BMP in 2021 is getting so tougher because of the subject change, because of the intensity of the exam, because of agile flavor is there, right? All adds up. So to you, Vijay. Thank you. Thank you, Sridham. And uh, let, me, let me thank you first, you and uh, Rahul and your team, entire team for making you know, this generally, uh, generally, uh, generally ha happening for me. And yeah, thanks to my batchmate as well. They shared a lot, lot of material. And yeah, somehow, you know, we did it like together. It's not somehow, you made it. <laughs> By the way, first tell me, Vijay, which part of the world you are? I'm currently in Canada, Toronto. I yeah. moved here like two years back. And before that, I was uh, in Brazil for three and a half years. Oh. Before that, you know, India, a typical Indian IT guy, you know, moving around the world. <laughs> so Rio, Rio dance, you are very famous for it. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> so tell me, uh, when you went to Brazil or moved to Canada, how do you see management is valued or how do you see this PMP things being discussed? Oh, PMP thing being discussed. It's everywhere, I guess. You know, it's uh, every, whatever you do, I think uh, you need to have those management tricks. And uh, if, if I go very specifically, especially the communication part, uh, part I love that chapter, you know, uh, that was my favorite chapter in, uh, in all the, you know, when I compare it with all of the chapters, that was my favorite chapter. Okay. And that's what we do actually. When they say, you know, 90% of a PM's job is to do this activity. I right. think it's even more than that. So <laughs> conflict management, when you're, you know, building a team uh, with there, right. you're talking, right. when you're you know, sending some status there, you are doing some communication when right. you're trying to convince, I mean, it's everywhere. So when it comes to, you know, a PM work, I think communication was my favorite chapter and oh, sorry, I, 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 you know, got distracted to the other topic. Your question was like, uh, how do you how the, see how the demand is, how the demand is, that's what I wanted to see. Demand, I think uh, it, it's everywhere, you know, it's a quite a prestigious uh, certification when it comes to uh, management. And that's why you will see so growing numbers when it comes to the numbers, you know, how many people have achieved the certification. Right. So right. It's really high. So there Got is. There is uh, Got you. So what, what's the domain you come from? You have an agile background. What kind of domain you are? Uh, I would say, you know, yes, I come from more of an agile background. Uh, been, uh, I've been doing a fallout management here since a long, long time. You know, it's been almost uh, six years since I'm a manager. Even before that also, I was into more of a production work. So yes, I'm more inclined towards the agile approach rather than the predictive one. I, yes, agile was my you know soft corner actually for me. <laughs> okay, now straight away jump to exam and then come to your preparation. So what was hap what happened to the exam and how was the exam? We'll talk about it. Then we'll come for your preparation. How you did that? <laughs> okay, so exam uh, you know we had a talk after that so. <laughs> it was it was very tricky, Shri. It was very very tricky. Uh, there was I, not a I thought, it, I thought I thought you will tell Shira quite easy, man. That's what you will thought. <laughs> no? There was not a single question which I remember which was less than three lines for me. 
yeah mm-hmm. and uh, i i saw some youtube videos of like our batchmates plus some other folks as well and many of them you know said you know it was quite easy just go with the prep cast uh, and you know the moment i clicked on start the exam the first question i was like big size <laughs> so it was a bit tricky i would say mm. uh, for me uh, i was lagging in time management and that's the reason uh, why i'm saying it was tough or tricky the questions uh, will make you read it you know at least two or three times if you're not doing it properly got you that's where i was lagging uh, and uh, the first 60 questions when i submitted it i was like uh, i was left with i think 140 minutes for the exam <laughs> you, you took almost 110 in that case yes so, sorry, sorry 90 90 minutes you took right in that case for 60 uh-huh. plus on top of it i flagged around 15 at least 15 questions and then i never reviewed any of the question because when i saw like i'm left with only 140 minutes it's there's no point of you know i've given i've, I've invested enough time for each and every questions if i've consumed this much of time so better you know just submit it so two three clicks i submitted it and uh, you know i took a break of uh, the first break i really took it like for 6 7 minutes uh, and uh, i was talking to my wife you know it's tough <laughs> it's, oh, it's a it's a it's a proctor exam so you yes, came out of the room went to the kitchen have some water and you show the face reaction to your wife guys it's not easy <laughs> Uh, she was telling me it's just the exam vijay no problem just oh, okay. put the rest of the 120 questions and uh, let's see <laughs> yeah, i just took an espresso shot and uh, i started it again so the first 60 questions and i heard a lot about it they were tougher as compared to the rest 120 question i felt the same that the toughness was a bit less for the next 120 but the next 120 were also very lengthy questions so again time management so <laughs> uh yeah so, so that that was going good and then uh, i don't even remember uh, for the second break maybe maybe somewhere around uh, 65 i was left with 65 minutes oh so break. last 60 questions sharp neck to neck yes. oh. and uh, when i started my second uh, second session i decided that i'll not review i mean i'll not uh, mark any question oh. for review because anyways i'm not going to do it so better not you know just mark it right uh, then it gives you uh, you know that uh, feeling of confidence also that there's no question for it <laughs> so yeah and then when i submitted as in when i did this end exam i was left with uh, some 15 uh, or 10 seconds so just to win the exam i said let me submit it let's not you know <laughs> let's not go the automatic okay, let, let, let me get this one i'm sure your heartbeat was heavy when you want to click the last button because you are not sure are you sure you're going to get a certificate or a dilemma a kind of dilemma <laughs> okay when you click that how many seconds they take to show the results instantly actually so <laughs> when you say result it was a more of a congratulations message Paragraph. and then uh, you did hard work blah 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 just two lines of message and then uh, that's it and uh, yeah after that there was a i think there was a survey also or oh, survey was before oh, yeah it be a survey survey yes after right. that did you shouted after seeing that congratulations yeah uh, inside yes <laughs> 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 so I, i have some experience with this proctor exams i know that you know uh, you have to make sure you are behaving properly as per the rules and regulations ah, yeah, that's that's true that's why when you went out and told your wife i cleared the exam she would have said that i know you will clear the exam she Look, said i told you <laughs> <laughs> this is a international statement from any spouse i know you will do that okay <laughs> but you know the pain of city four hours <laughs> yeah it was pretty tough and then i took it in the evening i mean late evening i'm more okay. comfortable with that time so i started around 8:15 and then you know 12:15 or something i ended it Mm-hmm. see you come with agile background and what is your industry experience overall uh, overall it's uh, almost 15 years 15 years oh, okay 15 years and agile still you feel that these guys are tricking you the exam throwing questions which is pushing you to the corner yes so uh, i'm more comfortable with agile and then uh, uh, i'll go for hybrid and then the predictive one surprisingly uh, for me mm-hmm. 
at least 40 to 45 percent it was pure predictive the exam which is where i think you struggled that's where i felt like okay i'm losing it i'm losing it <laughs> <laughs> but in agile you would have scored well you would have been comfortable yeah, it was it was going good yes uh, regarding the scores uh, you know we don't know what was the yeah, exact yeah, score we don't know we don't know but if you say tough the area of a predictive could have been tough for you that would have been challenged you is it yes i think i should have given uh, you know more uh, focus on that area i should have focused wow. more on predictive but then uh, you know while viewing all those interviews and maybe you know going through all those forums i saw more of hybrid and agile hybrid and agile and uh, i thought hybrid and agile you know i'm good with that maybe yeah, i'll let it manage okay tell me how do you say it's a predictive nature question what what makes you to say it's a predictive nature are they going to scope management are they going to schedule management are they going to deep inside how do you say it's a predictive nature so yes they were going deep inside the the relative topics like initiation so initiation they were going really really deep inside that topic plus uh, how should i say this there was no reference of uh, you know that hybrid approach that you know they are thinking about multiple options no they have decided that this is what they are going to do now tell me which is the best way and as you said in like, you know few of your classes that uh, which are all the four questions are right all the four options are right actually you just have to choose the best one so <laughs> that's tough right that's tough you will keep four items which is equality right it very minor thing will change the keyword mm -hmm. that toughness i understand the pain okay great when it comes to agile questions is it very explicitly telling it's agile so you can answer it is it a way it is uh, no and also you have to read carefully yeah that was also a bit tricky like uh, you know scenario based it was everything was scenario based and i would say uh, it was more practical approach like what would you do actually if you get this scenario so mm -hmm. more of practical approach so there was no bookish questions like uh, you know what is the velocity or calculate the velocity how much time it will take or that you have to go to scrum certification csm <laughs> then you will get that kind of question <laughs> sitting in pmp this guys will drill it uh, but my question is i am I'm, i'm looking from the other students perspective who taking exam how do they see the brain mapping happens this guys are asking agile questions i should think in at that angle so it's getting a little tough right if you don't have that clue in the question um that's going to be a little tough why i agree that point because you come from agile background for you itself you can't see that agile nature is it for all the questions or some questions are like that uh, most of the questions uh, they were tricky yes i mean you have to you know wait and understand it it was okay. nothing is straight forward but yes most of the questions were tricky but it's doable yeah. i think see even though we tell it's tough when you give little focus i think it's straight forward do it uh, with my experience i would say yes it is definitely doable uh, it's more on the time management part where i lack and i really want everybody to work on it uh -huh. tailor everything like like uh, prep cast so prep cast questions are good not to that level first of all mm. but maybe you can tailor prep cast rather than going for 250 minutes try to complete prep cast in maybe targeted like 160 170 try to and then uh, maybe taking in place of taking two breaks try to take only one break with prep cast or take a break after one uh, you know maybe after 100 minutes or something try to tailor it so that you get an experience of the real exam Ah, uh, uh, that, that's what I I felt. Just make it a bit tough. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I understand. I understand. Okay, I, I understand the point you are saying. Okay, that's quite interesting. Okay, now the exam part we saw there. Time management is one area we have to watch out. Question reading be little careful. Predictive or adaptive, and uh, it's not always a hybrid. They have predictive also, specifically predictive also. Now, before I go to your study idea, uh, which area you found a uh, little tricky for you? i mean like we have risk management uh, we have procurement we have um, schedule management which area you found um, to get tricky for you in the exam hall uh, during the exam i think i got questions from all the areas uh, when it comes to tricky i would say uh, you know it was more of uh, like like communication communication and stakeholders they will just match both of them and you'll feel like should i check the you know should i update the stakeholder plan or the communication plan what should i do so they were trying to mix two of the things 
even though it's your favorite chapter yes they bounce <laughs> you there itself i have seen this many people say the same version they take communication they take stakeholder with that they mix resource management resource management they give all this three and the answer is it will be risk management <laughs> you'll be like yeah what's happening <laughs> so a person who just memorize cannot clear this exam Definitely. a person who understand this digest it and thinks multiple situations before going to exam will be in a better shape agree completely okay 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 before we jump any math question came since you are a proctor you cannot use paper pencil how do you manage math so there were like it was not math question there were cpi and spi were there and then you just have to you know choose one of the right answer so oh. i just got two three questions like that but you don't need a calculator oh. and then uh, yeah although i clicked on calculator just to see what kind of calculator they are giving but the only calculator but you don't need calculator you know no maths question i would say oh oh then critical path also not there no mm. it was not there mm. okay. so the there were few a uh, few match the following questions for me mm. and when i said you maybe around 10 mm. uh, i'm good with them so i took more time to complete those questions because i was sure like i'll be getting some you know marks out of it uh -huh. so they were good then uh, no fill in the blanks for me uh -huh. multiple choice questions they were there maybe uh, you know five six and there you have to choose two or three you know uh, right mm. answers Mm -hmm. so yeah uh, this was apart from those uh, one answer questions got you got you okay that's quite interesting so 60 60 60 time is okay break you took uh, you had math a little bit no calculation all good fantastic great so now uh, let's listen something about your strategy uh, if you want to share that this strategy can help some more people uh, okay my strategy <laughs> let me let me talk about the exam time as in uh, so the okay. first thing which i learned my lesson learned from the first session of the exam was uh, no need to mark uh, that was for me actually no need to mark anything for review because i'll waste time on that for mm -hmm. uh, for the folks who are going to you know who are going for the exam time management i would, you know i have been telling to our, our, our batchmates as well time management is the key make the same prep class exam tough for you vijay i'm seeing that you took this exam yesterday mm -hmm. you are yet to come out of the shock <laughs> literally i can see in you still you are that shock <laughs> but that hangover is still with you <laughs> and the the shock is of the exam toughness plus the you know I, the marks which i got <laughs> clearing the exam <laughs> mm -hmm. okay good advice from you so watch out that time whenever you practice prep cast or practice a sri learning mock exam or you practice your um, small small test which we give in the 10 question exam wherever it is always look at the time right that's what you're saying to say yes. okay great and uh, what kind of mindset to have while reading do they need to do they need to just memorize all the content or take time to digest what do you feel i would say you know uh, go slow while reading a question that would be my suggestion so that you don't have to read the same question again try try if possible uh -huh. so that would be my first suggestion go slow take the first uh, you know first read uh, take enough time so that you don't have to do it again yeah that makes sense that makes i know we are be little urgent we will be running to read but nothing will go inside yes and then uh, there is an option to use this strike and uh, you know highlighting it i used it while doing prep cast it was quite easy but in the actual exam you have to select it and then click on high, uh, strike or highlight but go top and select something yes uh, you know uh, it's good but uh, it will eat up a lot of time so that would be you know no, no, no. pearson has to improve that pearson has to improve that uh, see who has a time to choose it go there click it they have to just right click and make a stuff i think that area is weak area hmm. okay okay good is there any warning you got from a proctor for doing reading the question no uh, well i have some experience with these kind of exams so no warning for me no chatting with the proctor so pretty straightforward for me 
Oh, okay. So no hiccups or nothing for you. Everything went smooth. Yes, everything was good uh, with the with the exam and all. Yeah. Good, good, good. You would have prepared for a hardly five weeks of time or eight weeks of time. Yes. Uh, so I I did it for eight weeks, but in the initial uh, phase, uh, while I was doing the sessions, I was attending your sessions. Uh, that time, those four hours uh, on the weekends. I mean, eight hours on the weekend. Uh, I was very focused. and uh, rest of the week maybe i was giving like one hour on an average mm. and then gradually in the month of may when you start receiving those uh, you know congratulation messages on the batch in this batch whatsapp group then you start thinking okay it's time <laughs> you know <laughs> so in march i started like okay let me give like maybe 2 3 hours in a day and uh, seriously i did it starting from 19th of march uh, oh. when you when we had that uh, proctor exam remember and then i had a quick chat with you for 10 minutes and you suggested okay vijay you're done with studies now don't go for the book reading go for the exams only and you gave me some you know tips uh, okay do this today do tomorrow like something like that so yeah after 19th i decided that okay 5th will be the date uh, 5th of yeah, uh, yeah. okay april and then i was done with first and second uh, uh, prep cast and i sent you the results you i was thinking like why only 72 and you said no congratulations 72 so you know always uh, seeing the class full that's a very good uh, <laughs> approach from your side and then you suggested few of the things to me like read the agile book i did it and then uh, in the third exam also i got same 73 percent not a big improvement but uh, by the third month sorry no uh, i saw consistency with you you are the same that, that, you didn't drop So that way, I felt this guy is good. He will clear the exam. <laughs> That's the way, you know. You you cheer up people, uh, you know, uh, Shri. Uh, I was thinking no improvement. You were saying consistency. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm scared of the people who are fluctuating. I do have some people who are fifty five, sixty seven, again sixty two. That is scary. If somebody in sixty eight to seventy seven consistent, it's a decent score. But I thought you will go for fifth of April exam. Suddenly, I'm seeing the message. Shira, I cleared the exam. Man, this guy. How come he went to exam early? <laughs> it was, uh, you know, those those four hours, and then doing the retrospective. Uh, you know, maybe by first of April or uh, even no, no, no. But by by third by third mark, I thought there is nothing much I can do. It will be yeah. like prep class. I have uh, studies. You already told me like Vijay, don't go for new book now. Okay, don't start a new course or something. So what else I can do? I can just go for the exam, so it was taking a toll out of me. So I said, like, let's let's go for it. So the fourth mock was my actual exam, and uh, luckily, uh, thanks to you guys, uh, I cleared it. <laughs> It's not you only, Vijay. I see some more people also. They feel enough, man. I can't sustain this pain. <laughs> Let me do something and come out. <laughs> okay, that's all things. So good, good, good. So you have the habit of taking notes in the class. Is that helpful? Do you do that? Any habits of that? Writing habits. Uh, I never used to do it, but uh, you know, while going through the course, in the middle of the course, I came to know that how important it is. Mm. So you, you, you know, this movie Karate Kid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it, 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 this, this course was like that for me. Initially, you said, "Okay, guys. So these are the five." Uh, stages which you have to write every day and i was like why okay and then <laughs> no it's just just like the movie you know when the trainer is telling you have to clean it just like this like this and the, the, the student is saying why i'm doing it and then all of a sudden when he you know start showing him why you were doing it then you start you know thinking oh really that was the case so exactly same thing happened for me maybe uh, in the in the third fourth session when uh, people started sharing the you know uh, some courses or uh, some uh, materials and when i started going through those materials then i you know remember why she was asking to write it why she was asking to you know mug it up so that you have it in your uh, you know subconscious brain that you know these things are there just an example of uh, ricardo vargas when i when i was going through his session uh, his uh, 50 minutes uh, youtube session then i was thinking okay shri already taught us this thing you know i'm able to relate it uh, uh, yeah i think now there i felt like okay writing is important actually and why shri was talking about it <laughs> especially That's in these kind of courses a uh, management or scrum or agile there you actually need it 
if it is for AWS, Azure, and all, you need practice. You know, you have to go and do the labs. But yeah. for these kind of courses, it's, it's good to write actually. Exactly. And I love that. You know, it's it's going good so far. <laughs> After a long time, you hold the paper, pen, and writing it. <laughs> and these kind of interactive session also, I think uh, it's been long, long time, because the rest of the certifications which I did, it was more of. Uh, Again, I'll go back to that communication thing, the pull and push base, no, no interaction. <laughs> so I felt really good. Maybe, uh, you know, I'll do more like this. I'll do more sessions like this. That's nice. That's I nice. can see the positive vibration. Super Vijay, great. Uh, I feel so happy having you here. So what's your time there now? Should be 11, 12 o'clock? Yes, uh, it's it's 1.30, almost. 1.30, okay. One thirty. okay. I know, see, yesterday you did the exam. Today also you got up early and you felt what to read today. <laughs> So uh, <laughs> I was chatting with Rahul yesterday. So I'm deciding on like maybe uh, by month end, I'll go for ACP as well. Oh, okay. ACP you want to do. Because many people after completing one certificate, next day also they'll wake up. They don't know what to do. And it's a usual habit for last three months. I couldn't stop. <laughs> That's the way it is. Super. Great. So I got the message from you. The exam is not straightforward. Definitely you have to be focused. Question is lengthy. You have to read well. Be careful. Is it predictive, hybrid, or agile? It's a kind of mix coming up. Be a little watchful. That's why I observed. And not much of math, not much of uh, uh, trouble there. Just just see the numbers and give the answers. And the match of followings are there. Multiple choices are there. Uh, they're going a little deep inside on some of the areas. Like you said, initiation, they literally go deep inside. And uh, if they take uh, schedule management, cost management, yeah, they are going predictive nature. It's a little tricky. And then Agile, they don't ask just like that. What is product owner? <laughs> Those questions are not there. Just literally go by scenario. Right? Okay. Good to know, Vijay. Any other do's and don'ts you want to tell for people apart from this? Well, uh, you know, just, just book the date. I think that's where uh, I, I mean, I was procrastinating. You know, I should have done it earlier. So I would say book a date and then plan according to that. I remember in your first or second session, you asked people this thing that when are you planning to give the exam? Tell me the date and I'll make a plan for you. So just, just do it. I mean, now I understand why you were saying this thing because booking a date is the most important thing. I initially thought I'll do it 28th of March and then um, you know, 5th of April. And then I got fed up of that uh, you know, wait period. So I just pre it. And there are many folks in the batch with whom I was chatting. They are getting really good marks, you know, 68 uh, or 72, 70. And... I said like, okay, you have done, you're done with four marks now. What next? Nothing. So just book it. So I think booking the date is the most important thing because with that, you'll be able to plan. And then, uh, you know, just uh, try to make the same prep cast or same kind of, uh, you know, material, whichever you're using, make that exam a bit tougher by you know, doing something different. Uh, as I said, you know, maybe just taking one break or uh, maybe reducing the time. So that's it. It's more of a practical uh, paper now. There is nothing about, uh, there's nothing theory. It's like really practical paper. What would you do if you were there? It's, mm. it's like your team is doing that work actually. Mm. So, yeah. That makes sense. That, I like the point what you say. There's nothing more to read in the books. In the books, you understand that that's it. But there is something practical questions. So understand the concept, answer in practical questions what they're asking. Okay. I get your point. That's really interesting. Good, good, Vijay. Super. Okay. Anything more? No, Shri. Uh, thank you. Thank you good. very much for your support. You and Rahul and your entire team. And uh, you know, see you in uh, ACP classes. Actually. Sure, sure, sure. Well, so, by the way, did you give party to your family who supported you for the exam? It's lockdown over here, but yeah, I mean, <laughs> you have an excuse to escape. <laughs> Okay, great, great. Good, Vijay. Uh, I would like to thank you for doing this and uh, it's going to help a few more people going for exam. And uh, thanks also viewers watching this exam. Uh, this is a success story. Don't get scared when somebody says it's tough. Uh, they are not um, scaring you. They're trying to tell that be prepared in the sense, don't go, it's okay. No, I'm not like that. You had a little bit of reading and then I like the way Vijay said that. Read the books, understand the concept, answer the practical questions say. What you do with your team there? That's what they're asking here. So the moment you reach a score of 60, 70, 75, very decent. Start going for the main exams. That's very important. Jump. Until jump, you don't know whether you'll fly or fall down. 
but jump. <laughs> That's very important, right? Good, great. Thanks, Vijay, and thanks all the subscribers and viewers watching here. Leave your comments for more questions and thought process. We will get back to you. Thank you. Thank you, Shay. Thanks a lot.